Live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering Sapphire Now. Headline sponsored by SAP HANA Cloud, the leader in platform as a service. With support from Console Inc., the cloud internet company. Now, here are your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Burris. So they're on, they are on the... <coughs> we're live? Okay, we're live, we're back here. Live at SAP Sapphire, I'm John Furrier, and uh, we had just looked at the site of our, of our guest, Sandeep Ravandi, who's the uh, president and co-founder of Inno, Innovap Innovaptive and Thorsten uh, Lyduck, uh, vice president of platform partners at SAP. Welcome to theCUBE. I got so excited, I missed the intro. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so one of the things that's going on is obviously the certification of apps, and there's a, there's a, it's kind of a nuanced story, but the partnering and the platforms that are out there are enabling the ecosystems to grow very rapidly. And, this is coming down to this notion of are you a platform or are you a tool? And certainly developers will have platform-like features, but ultimately if they're in a big enterprise ecosystem, they're just a feature or a tool. It's the classic line, oh, that's not, that's not a company, that's a feature. That used to be the, the story for venture-backed companies 10 years ago, but now you could really do well being a tool or a feature yep. if you're on a platform. So Deep, you, you do this. Yes. Share with the, the audience what's going on in the market, how are you guys succeeding, and what are you, what's your company doing? Yeah, so, I mean, when we started off, uh, you know, like I mentioned um, earlier in our conversation, you know, we come from management consulting uh, backgrounds and we understand business processes and the gaps in business processes and where, you know, mobile can, you know, uh, dramatically transform how people connect uh, with processes. Um, we evaluated several platforms, um, you know, uh, back in the day uh, where we had an opportunity to look at different platforms and we saw SAP mobile platform back in the day before HANA Cloud platform was available as our doorway and segue uh, to be able to you know, monitor, you know, create application that can resolve those pain points in the business process areas uh, where mobile is mission critical. Um, and we built upon that, but then we quickly also realized that you know, if these productized solutions cannot be personalized uh, to meet specific business needs, then it's hard to you know, capitalize and, and monetize. And what does your company then. do? Just share, just real quickly, what is the company, your company do? Absolutely, um, so you know, our, you know, our focus is really to um, you know, enable instant digitization um, you know, by connecting people, processes, and things. And the way we approach that is through a very large portfolio of mobile solutions that go across multiple lines of businesses, prepackaged, leveraging SAP mobile platform and the SAP HANA cloud platform. And then we built a, a patent pending technology which is called as the Rapid Application Configurator Engine that allows instant personalization which ties back to the mission I spoke about. So you put a wrapper around a traditional app, SAP app, yeah. and provide some integration or modernization? So the, the applications are Innovaptive's IP, but we are leveraging um, SAP's technologies and their SDKs to develop these applications. Okay, got it, okay. Yeah. Thor, so talk about the dynamic. Is this a new breed of uh, partner? Or is there a trend here where you're starting to see these new relationships? Share the trends. Yeah, so this is, business. I think, one of the amazing stories which we have to tell, right? When SAP really invested in the ecosystem on the platform side, and I think everybody agrees that without an ecosystem, a successful ecosystem, nobody has been successful adopting the platforms, then we have been able to attract really a huge amount of net new companies working with SAP. So in fact, 60% of all the partners who are part of the partner edge built program, how we call it, are basically net new to SAP. They're born in the cloud, native mobile social, so they really add this great capabilities like Innovaptive did, right, to the ecosystem, and basically complement the core portfolio of SAP very well. So if you think about <coughs> SAP's history, SAP has mm -hmm. been a company that showed a very large, integrated, comprehensive approach to thinking about applications. Right. A lot of your competitors started down at hardware, middleware, database, and eventually built themselves up. Right. Platforms tend to be more comprehensive large. Does the, pers the historical perspective of SAP, comprehensive, give you an advantage as we think about platforms versus some of the other companies that are trying to cobble things together from the piece parts a little bit more? Yeah, I absolutely believe this for the various reasons. Um, so when you think about the opportunity any partner gets when he joins an SAP platform is actually instant access to 300,000 plus customers, right? But it's not just customers, it's also business content. So when you think about HANA Cloud Platform, it's the only platform in the market who has really business access to all the various backend systems of the customers, right? So think about business suite, ERP, all the different disciplines. When you think about a line of business, HR, success factors, 
procurement, Ariba, Concord, or, you know, so you can name it. So basically, the, dis the differentiator, I think, which we have from a value proposition is that we have very broad platform capabilities, but we have also the business content access, and this is exactly what the other companies are lacking when you start something up from scratch, where you don't have this kind of customer environment which you can expose <coughs> to the ecosystem. You're a sandbox, really. Um, yes. HANA Cloud is basically a money-making sandbox for developers because SAP already does big business, pretty much everything runs on SAP. Right. So for a developer to jump into this environment allows them to do some integration, so if someone wants to build custom app, they could just jump right in. Absolutely. Is that the main, am I getting it right? Yeah, absolutely. So we have three key use cases. Either companies build new applications, that's what Innovaptive did. You can integrate, this is the second one. You know, and then the third one is obviously that you extend the existing SAP solutions on the customer side and drive innovation in the cloud. So when you think about HANA Cloud Platform, it's really an agility layer for the customers to drive innovation in the cloud and they can basically keep a stable environment on their backend side. So, and the ecosystem is obviously enabling this kind of innovation, right? Yep. So for the customers who really want to get to the next level, they have access to a wealth portfolio of partner solutions which they can instantly deploy, where they can instantly consume value yep. to get basically this innovation into the company. And this helps them to get basically executed, to execute on their trans digital transformation story. Right? I want to build on that 300,000 number though, because that 300,000 number mm -hmm. is, is companies. That's customers, yes. Well, it's, but it's companies that are customers. Companies, yes. Yeah. So how many, how many actual users are in your ecosystem right now? I mean, it's, it's what, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, 5,000 on average at your company? So are we, we're talking hundreds of millions of people are yeah. under management, so to speak, within the SAP ecosystem. Is that accurate? Yeah, so I mean, obviously HANA Cloud Platform is actually any customer of SAP should consider to have it, right? And we are pushing this as a strategic platform with all the sales cycles. So what it means is actually, you know, when you buy, when customer buys success factors, he needs to think about, you know, how do I add the other solution components? How do I keep basically the innovation going? HANA Cloud Platform is enabling that, right? When you think about IoT scenarios, when you think about user experience, mobile, you know, independently, if you are on the business suite, if you are the next generation business S4, business suite, you know, it doesn't matter. You need an extension capability to be agile and to extend. So we have driven HANA Cloud Platform via all the sales channels, via all the portfolios which we have in SAP to our customers, right? So basically our goal is to drive HANA, <coughs> uh, HANA Cloud Platform adoption, basically very broad and ideally every customer should have it. That's the goal. I mean, yeah. great example is, you know, we, you know, one of our you know, top selling applications is in the enterprise asset management space, right? Where we are offering a, a mobile enterprise asset management solution for preventive maintenance and calibration maintenance on the cloud, leveraging HCP, where we can deliver it both as a software as a service or we partner up with SAP to deliver that as a platform as a service and the software running on top. The great example of the value that we see as independent developers in the platform is to take, take this above and beyond because our customers are asking us, Great, you gave me preventive maintenance. I'd like to move to predictive maintenance models. Uh, you know, the, the fact that we're already on the HANA Cloud Platform, I have the ability as an independent developer now to leverage the HANA databases to drive predictive analytics, and I can also bring the Internet of Things services to drive sensor-based connectivity that can further monetize and give me upsell opportunities uh, as a business. That's extensibility, so you provide yeah, the headroom, basically. Yeah, exactly. right, so I got to ask a question, I'm oh, sorry Peter, go ahead. <coughs> no, no, I was going to, well, very quickly. Uh, so so one, of the, one of the things that SAP did right early on was start to weave together its partners into something that looked like a network. So partners, especially application providers and service providers could work inside the SAP ecosystem to add new value. Yeah. Are you actually starting to extend that now and make it possible or easier for partners to use each other's tools, to use each other's APIs, so that you are able to publish out and other partners are able to apply your stuff within the SAP ecosystem to drive new levels of value? Is that becoming a feature of how you're presenting the ecosystem? Yes, it is. I mean, even though that, you know, it's obviously a kind of roadmap and steps which have to happen sure. to fully enable that, but you know, when you think about um, Cloud Foundry, right, which is basically an open platform standard, which yeah. are joined by many of the IT companies, what it does, it gives openness to developers to leverage their tools, the development tools, to deploy it, and in principle you get access 
via this construct to multiple ecosystems. So if a company has built application A with an ecosystem A, it's immediately available also in all those ecosystems where Cloud Foundry is represented, right? So it's a huge value from a reach and from a from reach perspective, right? Um, the second important area with regards to where we cross-promote is obviously what we call um, the microservices area. So we have micro, micro, built a microservice, microservice framework where partners can publish their microservices, where customers can pick and orchestrate, and also developers obviously can pick and orchestrate those mark, uh, microservices and build this into their applications. So basically we promote the cross pollination of innovation within the ecosystem <laughs> via this kind of market microservices concept and framework. Yeah. But are you also at the same time coming up with standardized con, or do you envision yeah. that there's going to be an SAP way of doing business? SAP's been also at the vanguard of thinking about some business model innovations. Yeah. Inside their ecosystem, is there going to be an SAP way of doing business that makes it easier to do contracting, joint go-to-market, and Absolutely. other types of things? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, from a go-to-market perspective, obviously what we do is we publish all the solutions on the SAP ANA App Center. That's where customers can go to discover, find, and basically try those solutions. Um, it, customers can navigate by industry, LOB, so it's very comprehensive and it gives them a good overview on what is available in the ecosystem, right? The second important thing is where we empower the partners to be successful is we implemented a model that companies like Innovaptive can bundle their solution with the HANA Cloud Platform. On a very simplified model, right, so we basically ask for a revenue share for their, based on their application value. It's simple, it's predictable, and it allows them to consume all the parts of HANA Cloud Platform end to end without thinking about, hey, do I need to switch on another storage element? Do I need to switch on the portal? Do I need yeah. to consume some kind of mobile services? We, in principle, don't Take care. Take us through that, because this is the, this is the, the yeah. big, I think the big deal you guys yeah. have is an opportunity. Monetization, and, and, yeah. It's to really onboard developers yes. in a way that's elegant, but yet they get in and they can enjoy the benefits. I'm a developer, we have an app, take me through what's it, what it's in it for me. Yeah, okay, so. Why do I join, what do I get? Exactly. Do I get a, a, a people so, to talk to? So the reason why you develop is to build something which you can sell to customers, yes, right? So we have an app. Exactly, so and we have built an end-to-end -end engagement framework which guides you very effectively through the different life steps in the life cycle to get reach this point, mm -hmm. right? So we give you access to developer resources, HANA Cloud Platform, we give you enablement packages including high touch enablement for strategic areas where we know you complement our portfolio very well to get you effectively trained to build those solutions. We give Who you pays for that? Hmm? SAP takes care of that, right? So we give every partner standard enablement. So the developer doesn't know out of pocket for the developer yet? No out of pockets. You know, I was talking to the price what it costs to the end, but I can <laughs> tell you the investment okay. for any so far, partner, so good. the investment for any partner, you know, is literally 3,500 euros per year to be part of the program and get all the services which I was referring to. So is that upfront or is that, that's can I back end it? So no, it's that's a subscription. A, it's an annual subscription okay. to get the SAP partner status, to get access to developer resources, to get access to enablement training packages. We provide feedback on the solution use cases, you know, in terms of is this complementing what SAP has? Is it on the roadmap of SAP so that partners don't make the wrong investments? We review the solution from a quality perspective to ensure it can be deployed to a customer seamlessly and instantly if a customer wants to buy it. And then we promote it via the various routes to market. I was alluding to the HAP Center as a digital property, ePass, this is the embedded license model where we empower the partners to, based on a revenue share model to sell the solution self-sufficiently. And obviously in certain cases we orchestrate the engagement with the SAP field so as well. So the, the, the fixed fee for the, for the <coughs> subscription, I get yeah, that's a good developer yeah. fee, I yeah. got that. The out of pocket is going to be actually hiring developers or yeah. labor to write yeah. the code. And then if I go to the marketplace, if I go to market with SAP, right. that's where the rev share comes in. Correct. Okay. And yeah. other partners. And other partners, right. so distribution. Right. Yes, so when correct. we sell, yes. yeah. like you know, say we have a hundred license deal, an annual subscription deal, um, we would typically you know, do a percentage revenue share with, with SAP, and you know, SAP's shown tremendous flexibility in how they help us you know, monetize on that model. So we work closely with you know, Tharson and you know, the different go-to-market team and the GCO guys that come together to make that deal happen. And you're obviously um, here on theCUBE, so you're a fan, so you're supportive, right? So you think this is a good deal for developers? Well, uh, you, know, the, uh, you know, quite frankly, I mean, the success we've had so far, I mean, you know, two years in a row we have won SAP Pinnacle Awards. We have only good things to say, I mean, quite yeah. frankly. I have you know, other things that I can share as well that, you know, where I would like to see improvement, uh, yeah. which, you know, like I, 
Completely like, you know, share. Yeah. yeah, you know, I think the areas that where I think, you know, we need some clarity, apart from the fantastic technology stuff and monetization models, is really, you know, the roadmap uh, alignment, right? We don't want, as a developer, we're always threatened, as a small developer, that, you know, what if SAP comes up? You don't want to get rolled up, over by the big elephant. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, so, you know, our ask to SAP on. has always been that, you know, if we are spending so much money, and I'm getting investor money now, into you know, building you know, our business out of the platform that we align well as true partners yeah, yeah. in the ecosystem. Over time. Over a period yeah, of time. You don't want to be in the, in the crosshairs of a, of a trajectory. Yeah, so so right. you know, yeah. you know, just speaking very straightforward and honestly, that's really you know, where we as developers believe that you know, if we have made some traction in the market with a certain product, yeah. we don't want to, you know, our partner to compete with that. Just like you know, Force.com or a Salesforce does not do that, right? I mean, they, they let the partner ecosystem uh, progress, which I think SAP is already Committed. Yeah, I mean, um, Microsoft used to have a great of, developer you know, system. Sharing. They were very clear in how they articulated where their core was. Yeah. So essentially, the train is going down the track. So and kind of, and everyone wanted to draft off that. And I think that's right. And I think so. So Torsten, share yep. a URL. Where do people get information? So I'm an app builder. I want to check this out. Where do I go? Yeah. So the easiest place to go would be Evans App Center. So it's www.sapapdc. Uh, you know, that's the App Developer Center. And that's where you find all the information. It's basically guided end to end. SAP.com slash or no, no, not .com. It's, it's really just SAP AD PC. AD? AD PC for Application yeah. Development Partner Center, right? <coughs> and that's where all partners would land, you know, to basically get information on the program, but also to sign up, right? So we help partners to give uh, to uh, we give them a complete overview on the program along the various steps, get started, development, you find the enablement training materials there to a certain extent, even the go-to-market support is already there, so they really fully understand what is ahead of them, what are the different steps and where to find it, and they sign up electronically on this SAP, page as well. SAP AD, AD PC. PC, yep. okay, got it. Make sure you pull the URL up. Well, thanks guys so much for coming in, I really appreciate it. And again, Peter and I were just talking about the developer opportunity. It's, no one really has won this new modern developer community yet. Um, certainly great tracks. You see a lot of growth over, over 10 years with Amazon. You guys have a great developer community in the enterprise. And new opportunities are there, right? So um, it's going to be uh, fun, fun to watch over the next few years. Thanks for coming on theCUBE. Yeah, thank you for having us. And we're very confident, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, are here, we are here live at SAP. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back. <laughs>